Hi guys, this is Anno and we are back playing as France in Hearts Uh We conquered Moscow uh, last episode and uh, we are continuing to advance and try throughout pretty much the entire front really. Uh, our allies mostly uh, dealt with what was left to conquer in Caucasus. They should be redeploying uh, in to, the, to the front line shortly. We yeah, are mm, getting uh, some smaller encirclements here and there and uh, cleaning them up and overall advancing. Through now, mostly as you can see, mm, deserted front. We are also making a push up north, uh, trying to cut off all the Leningrad area uh, from the rest of. Uh, of the Soviet Union, since well, this is actually a new capital these days, which will help with uh, dealing with the rest of that uh, to to some extent, because uh, uh, the amount of troops that they have left is so small that all the victory points uh, in Asian part of Russia, as well as uh, rural area, uh, will be enough. Are more or less enough to sustain um, what they have. Now, uh, speaking of how many troops does it show? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I haven't even noticed. I, uh, I knew we were killing bits and pieces of them here and there, but uh, yeah, last episode it was uh, between 65 or so and 120, and now it's under 70 so yep and we have some captured here and there and now we are mostly fighting against seeing young troops <laughs> funny enough uh, okay so seems like they are mostly concentrated up north now and our push towards uh, rural um, is basically uncontested uh, let's get a secondary attack line here. Or I forget. Um, and I guess tanks can just go manually, really. Same goes for the motorized, other than the ones, the, the two, the two things that are, uh, that they've gotten manual orders. Mm. So yeah, not bad at all. Uh, we are of course still, uh, we still haven't uh, spent a single political PowerPoint, obviously. Um, all right, I was supposed to get uh, <laughs> um, ask for all those um, states here, but eh, so I'll, I'll just wait for the political uh, for um, um, uh, for peace conference, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, so our allies, or mostly our allies, are pushing uh, nicely up north, uh, along with our infantry that suddenly realize that most of them have to be there, and they should really focus on uh, push in that direction too. I mean, seriously, come on AI. Here we go. Well, now it's mostly, <laughs> mostly watching uh, AI takes that. Well, look at that. So, apparently, our Polish troops have decided to make a beeline for whatever. Um, which is a bit weird. Let's reassign our troops there. Sure. Um, <laughs> it sometimes happens. I had uh, in Japan a uh, push all the way to Crimea, I've, or rather, uh, or even uh, uh, Romanian border, I think, uh, uh, through the Soviet Union. It's hilarious. At least they're cleaning those packets up fairly easily. 
Uh, okay. Here we go. Did five this in order, I'd say. <laughs> uh, no point in uh, getting this longer than it, than it has to be. Oh, look at that. They're actually fighting about, uh, back a little bit here, but. Uh, yeah. We should be able to, to um, advance uh, on the two lightning rat and in the meantime we grab uh, uh, those ports around here to prevent them from evacuating. How are those packets going? Uh, maybe better than I would hope. Mostly forgotten really. What do they have there? Uh, Okay, well, that won't last long, but they will be finished off shortly, I'd say. Yep, uh, checks will do that. So checks apparently moved, uh, well, just a few divisions suddenly, but uh, what can you do? And for some reason, are those uh, are actual troops or... Yes, yeah, so was... Why do I have a... Uh, I think it's... Uh, not sure what this order was from. Uh, no idea, really. Uh, maybe once I got and those. Hmm. I don't know. It must have been some order I, that I drawn to just before the invasion of uh, USSR or something. Very bizarre. Well, anyway, let's run them in there. Uh, here we are. We have captured another division or so. The game is going pretty damn fast without hiccups, just by the way. Let's uh, keep watching. So losses are climbing, but but very slowly. Uh, unlike here, and they are under 50 divisions now. <laughs> Total collapse. We could have easily just uh, stopped moving and our allies would mo mop the floor with them. Well, that's probably true for uh, from before this episode, really, or, or the previous one. Uh, Alright, improved. Uh, let's get that encryption, I guess. And we are in August 1940. Okay, so Jap Japan goes uh, will attempt to go to war with the USA. Uh, USA. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, so strike the USA should be the next one. Uh, no, there we go. Oh. Okay, well they they went to war with with the Allies over uh, Netherlands area. Not sure how well that will go for them. We'll wait and see. Japan joined Axis, and I believe uh, Axis is now ruled by <laughs> by Hungary. Uh, oh, okay. So we actually ended up at war. No, we haven't. Never mind. Uh, yes, we have. Okay. Why are okay? Why Romania is at war here? Well, well, I guess we are at war with Axis again, or we will be as soon as we accept the call to arms. Uh, who else is? They just went to war for uh, against against Romania. It's fairly bizarre. I mean, sure, Hungary would go to war against Romania, but I, I didn't even notice the, the declaration. Okay, let's see. What kind of war is that? Current wars? It's a part of Japanese-British war, and somehow Romania is involved. That is definitely not part of Allies. Well, gives. Was Romania guaranteeing uh, 
like Netherlands or something. I know that mm, Twitter access, no aggression facts. It's me. Oh well, uh, can we join the war? <laughs> and they are considered part of allies somehow. Okay, this seems like a weird bug, really. Unless I'm not getting something. Why? Why Romania isn't a war leader here? Huh. You can even join that war. Uh, should probably be able to declare war on. Oh, right. We cannot declare war because we don't have political power to do so. Uh, to, to justify a war goal. <laughs> uh, very interesting. I really don't know what it gives, and I really hope that Romania actually. This is so bizarre. Yeah, and so Romania will be streamrolled here, really. Like, uh, they have 90 divisions here, and most of the Romanian divisions are on our front. And Trotsky actually survived assassination. Oh, uh, explosion. No. You need to fucking focus on your bloody war, since we cannot intervene somehow. Please. They're actually justifying against Czechoslovakia. So we'll be oh, okay, so they should be able to declare war in a few months. Uh, well, that would actually be helpful if they would. Um... Let's redeploy those units here. I really hope that's the <laughs> Romania won't capture it till then. Huh, we should probably ask them for most of the territory now. Probably not all of it, but uh let's get all the Territory uh, except uh, bits on their border. They have around 6% access, I think. 6% uh, war contribution. Let's get, through, get all of that and uh, let's give them. Fuck. Oops. That was a lot of clicking for nothing. Damn it. And I get no I can't shift click that. I got control A. Nope. Alright, so I, actually I will keep this province so they can't advance uh, from here if they somehow conquer. Uh, definitely taking this though. Um, uh, let's give them back all of that. Yeah, that's, they should agree to that, I think. Will they? There we go. Uh, well, definitely want that, but well, we are not in control of it yet. And same here, so we should regain control of it later on. Now, that also means that we have all those free military factories that we can spend on those nice medium tanks. Well, actually, we have five, four broken ones. <sighs> uh -huh. Where are those? Uh, here they are.
yeah, there's, there will be quite a lot of that going on. Yeah, a lot of fixing. And how's this? Yeah, so, so this gets pretty bad, but uh, it shouldn't take long till we win that war. Uh, reset slot. Right, we have uh, better planes, and there are not air not enough air experience to do anything about them. Mm. Well, nothing to do here. Let's get that uh, improved infantry equipment, I guess. And we can deploy some units. Right. Uh, well, might as well deploy them here. Round assault finished. Uh, well, we're mostly using. Let's see. I, all right, this game is a blitz in the last uh, defense. Um, and add some organization. Warming fire. Mm -hmm. And all oh, right, this this part of course increases our maximal planning mostly, and add some stars. Another maximal planning here, and yeah, reinforce rate. Uh, that's everywhere. This one also disaster offense. Uh, additional recovery rate. Uh, plot one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go with leg infantry really. It's, that's what we are mostly using, and I don't think we'll graduate to tanks uh, to um, mechanized anytime soon. Uh, no, well, we can't really start building um, more more units. Uh, so we don't have manpower for it. Uh, we should be able to regroup at least. Uh, How that works. Uh, not sure. We'll just keep bet uh, keep getting pushed back. I think, I guess. Okay, let's grab some of the units that are doing pretty much nothing around here. And well, actually, we already assigned uh, thirty divisions, so that shouldn't take long. Um, with exile divisions. Okay. All right. So they. As soon as they push, they will keep getting exiled, so I guess we should probably send them here. And, uh, well, Czechs should be able to, to, to attack on their own. These, uh, yeah, let's assign them there. Okay, how long do you guys declare war on, uh, on Czechs? Uh, Still fucking 15 days. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Exile troops. Uh, resistance to occupation is through the roof. Uh, we are, however, uh, getting ourselves Stalin, uh, Leningrad, not Stalino. Um, all of that boosts, uh, the war effort, uh, Poland especially, since they are mostly getting that without our help. That's all right. This is silly. Uh, yeah, Romania is fucking capitulated. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they capitulated the Soviets. <sighs> wow. This is some weird shit. Alright. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, well, all of that. Was... Wow. <laughs> well, I haven't seen that happen. 
Well, that of course means that we lost all of the troops that they had here. Ah, uh, Polish troops are doing all right there. Okay, so now they declared war on Czechoslovakia. Uh, do we have uh, any orders here? Uh, we'll just execute them. That should be. Uh, that should do it. I think we have enough around. And same goes for those guys. Uh, well, let's just push for Budapest. Really. Shouldn't be able to. <laughs> Bulgaria joined. Jeez, okay. I guess it's, we need to slow this down uh, just a little bit. Uh, well, should be able to capture all that without any problem. Uh, okay, let's just click through it. Uh, don't want. Now, um, all right, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, then we should be able to get uh, that without any issues, right? Right? Okay, so we'll need to finish all Bulgaria. Mm. Then I guess somehow reinstate Romania. Jesus, what a mess. <laughs> it's no fucking sense whatsoever. And somehow those uh, Portuguese divisions arrived here. Uh, let's get that key very fast. Uh, okay, so uh, have you run out of things to conquer? I wouldn't think so. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, all of our blue divisions decided to go there. I, I, I really wasn't paying attention, was I? It's all that them to, to, to advance in this direction. This is kind of pointless. Oh, jeez. This one line. Well. Good enough. Uh, order the attack, and this needs to continue. Like this, uh, well, they really don't have anything left, more or less. Uh, yeah, 40 divisions. <laughs> Probably some of them are trapped here. Leningrad is now controlled by us. Uh, let's just check. Oh, that, uh, yeah, so Poland got 9% uh, war effort for it. That's okay. Um, so weird. Okay, still, I think our troops should be able to, to, to clean that up. Pretty easily, even though our tanks here are actually struggling. Mostly since we are, uh, I guess, attacking uh, through the river into a uh, into a city. Probably not the best idea. Let's refrain from doing that and split our attack to encircle it. Sure, move troops through our territory. Are they justifying anyone else? Not really. It's just Germans that will be justifying till the end of times. Mm, we are slowly taking this. Um, let's help with that. Um, mm -hmm. You yeah, guys should really, really, really strategically deploy. Okay, you should be there. Let's strategically deploy you here. Uh, you are just sitting here. Uh, okay, let's just do that. Um, Thank you. 
Okay, that will do it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's getting messy really quickly. Not from my heart, really. I mean, it's weird that this like situation is not tested. Though I guess that the, the fact that Romania, uh, that Ax uh, Hungary was a part of Axis but never joined the war, and thus Axis survived but not led by Germany, is something a bit. A bit odd of an occurrence. Uh, right, we are finishing regrouping. Uh, and yeah, pushes are going through here and through here. Okay. Alright, uh, this whole thing is going. Why are we going there? Doesn't make sense. We're going this direction. I guess you can, you know, start invading Mongolia, Xinjiang, and whatnot. Uh, now our motorized troops. Uh, uh, just finish this, I guess. And this, and then we'll move you towards uh, Xinjiang, Mongolia, and, and whatnot. Uh -huh. Of course, what's uh, another interesting thing is, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that to finish to to finish off Germany, we would have to go. We'll have to go to war against uh, and actually get our achievement. We will need to go to war against the allies. Fun. The Romanian People's Republic has capitulated. <laughs> okay, can we please release? Well, we'll return to it later. Um, well, we need to, we'll need to finish off uh, Soviet Union become, before we can <laughs> release Romania again. It's such a nonsense. All right, how is uh, Budapest going? Uh, where are my tanks mostly? Mm, okay, four are here, and the rest. Twenty are here. Oh, you decided to go there. Right. This ancient. Uh, I keep forgetting to 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 destroy such things. Um. Okay. Mm, how about you guys go back here? You and that one that was going to up north. You. And just this invade. Ireland has drawn allies. Hmm. Okay. That was a mistake. Go. Hmm. Uh, Spanish troops. Well, oh, actually, it's, we have nationalized Spain, so that makes sense. It's funny that they have they haven't joined yet, or have they? Nope. We may actually see that happening. <laughs> we would have to raise this to uh, to to our uh, homeland real fast because, well, being France, we are uh, a small breeze away from uh, capital capitulation, or I mean, or rather, one Paris away from capitulation. Those are untaken. But are a bit weird too. But well, this is an episode of many weird things. Okay, well, so this situation is sort of under control. Mm. And attack from other angles too. Uh, this we are mostly attacking through the river. Uh, not not the smartest. Way to go about it. Let's cancel those and swing back around there. 
Yeah, that's better. And the rest of the advance is uh, going steady. Then we need to finish off uh, Bulgaria. And we'll be good. Uh, this is, well, I guess it's going. Slowly but surely. Mostly slowly, so we won't be able to finish this till the end of the year, uh, sadly, because we lost Romanian forces. Huh. Good thing about it is that as soon as they fall, the Yugoslavian forces should s support us, I'd say. And of course, we'll need to fight Japan. Well, I guess that makes sense. We'll, we'll, we'll re-institute China and perhaps go to war, actual war with allies beyond just capturing what, uh, what Germans have. But probably not. That's, that's a bit excessive. I, I, I never wanted this to be a, uh, world conquest series and that's, that's kind of silly. So I'm not going to start building uh, towards that. Uh, that being said, I should probably start switch to uh, better fighters. And we may actually have enough fighters to you know, do the proper fighting. And shouldn't we have enough oil though? Even that we don't? Even, uh, even, owning, uh, even owning that. Interesting. Uh, Let's check our... Ah, oh, right, because we are... Oops, sorry for that. Um, yeah, let's get all the possible oil from Poland. Uh, yeah, that... We'll have a set. Uh, tungsten, uh, we need another 16. There we go, that's better. Haven't they capsulated yet? Yeah, this is uh, already Polish. Um, Hungary. Mm, who does need to go? Yeah, it's mostly Japan that needs to go. Uh, okay. Research. Where were we? Alright, so we also got... Uh, oh, I forget. Uh, better close air support. Yeah, that will do it. And research. Already working on that. We are in November. I guess I will wait and just go for concentrated, concentrated industry and assembly line production. Um, in a month or so. Forty two, so that would be too early. Um, getting this is a bad idea. Either. Yeah, well, we have quite a few things we could research for not a lot of reasons uh, in the forty one, and we'll do that. So uh, we'll get back to it in the first week of uh, December. Now we are out of time. Oh, let's just wait for them to 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 uh, capture. They they really should have already, unless I I, I might have clicked through it. But uh, maybe it's this is weird. So they division should have disappeared long ago, and that there should be should have been a capitulation. Hmm. It, not that. That it matters much, but um, all right. Uh, well, we have everything in in abundance. Uh, even close air support. Uh, I guess third line of fighters isn't a terrible idea. Um, well, let's do that. Oh yeah. Sadly, most of our military factories are in Russia, and they will be messed up for the longest time. Anyway, that was an interesting 
all by the, the fairly annoying episode. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.